Will they hear me if I hit the top? Or do I need to go up there? Oh, camera three, four, okay. Uh, no, the, neither of them are near me. Okay, I gotta find them.
ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the beautiful campus of Western University for this men's semi-final basketball matchup between the Mustangs and the Brock Badgers. For the Mustangs, two decades of disappointment, two decades of pain, of heartbreak, two decades of what if, of if only, can be partly vindicated tonight. For the Badgers, they look to repeat magic in 2022. They won this whole thing from the seventh place overall position. This time, they slayed last year's two finalists from number 10 in the overall table. My name is Leith DeBoer, and joining me on play-by-play -play for this first half is Anj Gupta. And what an exciting matchup we have today. Semi-finals. Brock Badgers against Noah Shitty right now. That's the first jumper for the game, and that was Javon Brown. Rebound, Noah Shitty. Milan John for three. Count it! And we got it started. Milan John, first three of the game. Great start already for Milan John. He was playing on the bench for most of the season, and towards later, when Jarek Palma got injured, he found himself fortunate with the starting position, and that's a three right back. And that is Ellis from Brock. Great game Brock had against Ottawa. They won 81 to 58. And Isaiah Butchdoso with 21, Javon Brown with 19, leading the team, as well as Western, absolutely crushing Laurier. 92 to 40, uh, 72. Uh, Arian Palm, uh, Arian Sharma, my fault. Missed the mid range right there. Great defense, Tyson Dunn. Fast break opportunity. Oh, smoked the layup, but Tyson Dunn, he'll find himself in the same situation. And next time he will score. Tough drive, wide open, corner three. Does not drop. Offensive rebound. And Brock is fouled. That is. Tyson Dunn scored 19 last game, but his contribution was so much more than just his point count because he was all over the floor, such a versatile player. And if the Mustangs are to make it to the finals today, it'll be partly off of his work, no doubt as we go for the throw-in, or the free throw. And that's Chawante, one of Brock's best players. Absolutely playing stellar this season. And Alumni Hall, very excited. A lot of noise. And Chawante drops both. Noah Shuddy. He had himself a pretty great game. 12, 4, and 3 with two steals. Aryan Sharma with 34, a 34 bomb, and a turnover from Aryan Sharma. That's going the opposite way. Isaiah Budgedoso. He was the I believe quarterfinals leader for Brock. Wide open. Chuente for three. And Brock's got it going. Eight to three. They're on an 8 0 run. Tyson Dunn double team. Aryan Sharma to Milan John. Milan John, second three. Count it. He's two for two. He's eating up. And what a response right there from Milan John. Chuante with a three. Milan John, as I said, the rotational player. Isaiah Butchdoso, great pass right there, wide open. George's Famba, Wamba. And a foul on the ground. Milan John is the one who drew it.
And I'm very glad that he's getting the ball as much as he has been getting. Milan John, that is, I'm speaking of. Great player. Noah Chudi spinning. Yeah! What a move right there, Noah Chudi. Mid-range killer. That is his spot. That's his hot spot. Don't test him. Western down two. Javon or Ellis. Javon Brown. Great ball movement. And the three from Chuente. He has two threes. And Tyson Dunn loses the ball. And that is Javon Brown dunking it. Oh, wow. And Brock is back with a 5-0 run. A lot of momentum changes, and it's already, or it's only been four minutes in this game. Aryan Sharma trying to find something. He's got to, he's got to carry the ball. He's the one who went off last game. He is their star player. Tyson Dunn double teamed again. George Horn mid range. Oh, does not drop. George Horn can't get it. Javon Brown collects the rebound. Milan John tried to sneak in and get a quick steal and a foul on the ground. George Horn. We can see here, great transition game. Nobody left back there for the Mustangs and it's an easy jam for the Badgers. And very interesting inbound play. Wide open in the corner. No. Ella, uh, Butch Doso. Javon Brown. Great steal right there. Oh, no, it should he. He's bringing up the ball. Slowing it down. Isoing. Driving. Easy lay right there. That's two for Noah Chitty. And Noah with four points in this ball game. Five minutes have passed by us. Javon Brown, screen right there. Never mind. Find Chuente. Chuente has eight points right now. He's posting Noah Chitty. Taking advantage. Ellis, mid-range. No. But Chuente's there. And a foul. Chuente draws it. That's on Noah Ochuti. Chuente got 14 in the shock victory over the Ottawa GGs. And in the regular season, is actually the top rebounder in the entirety of the OUA. This is a man the Mustangs are going to have to keep watch of all game. And Chuente misses the free throw. Great noise right here. Alumni Hall absolutely packed right now. Chuente shooting his second. He's a very efficient shooter. And this season proved it for him. And he drops that foul or free throw. And quick substitutions for Brock. Chuente's out. And in for Chuente. He's number 10. Tyson Dunn bringing up the ball. Andrew McKenna that was. Tyson Dunn with no fear driving and he is fouled. He'll be shooting too, so. And Noah Chudy out for Cole Cruz DeMont. Oh, and there we go, Jarek Palma. He is the usual starter for Western, but he was injured. Aryan Sharma out. Tyson Dunn drops the first. And Tyson Dunn is an absolutely amazing playmaker and scorer. His game is a lot like Luka. And he misses the free throw, but cannot get the uh, second chance opportunity. Brock Ball. Andrew McKenna off the bench. 
Inbounds. Xavier Fearon also subbed on. Fearon, double team right there. McKenna loses the ball almost. He regains possession. Isoing, driving, and a charge. And that is still Western ball. Mateo Zagar, solid player for Western, draws the foul. Zagar absolutely killing it this season, especially towards the end of the season. Found himself getting a lot of minutes. Cole Cruz DeMont, Milan John still on the floor. Same with Tyson Dunn. Tyson Dunn finds Milan John. He does not drop this third three. But that was a great take. Good shot selection. Adding to the teamwork, teammate grade. And Javon Brown. Fierce attack. And that's two for Javon Brown. 18 to 11, Brock up seven. Huge game. Winner of this game goes to the finals. Tyson Dunn to Jerry Palma. Jerry Palma loses the ball. Javon Brown doing everything. He slows down the tempo, trying to find something. Javon Brown has four points. Pass, Andrew McKenna. Fear on, fear on, easy lay. And that's the first two for fear on, Xavier fear on. Double team, Tyson Dunn. Great ball movement, Jared Palma, three! And that's Jared Palma's game. Absolutely a menace. Behind the three-point range. Xavier Freeron trying to find something. Georges, Wamba, Andrew McKenna. Great post, but does not drop. Great move right there. Mateo Zagar gets the rebound. Tyson Dunn trying to find something. Double teamed once again. Wide open. Cole Cruz DeMont does not drop. But an offensive rebound. Mateo Zagar. Allows Western to get a second chance opportunity. Cole Cruz DeMont loses the ball, and then Mateo Zagar loses the ball. No one can regain possession for Western. Brock Ball, Fearon, trying to find something, guarded by Dumont. Georges, trying to find something. Xavier, corner three. Javon Brown! In his face, corner three, count it. Von Brown scored 19 in what can only be described as the basketball version of a public execution as the Brock Badgers, as the three goes in from Cruz de Mont, the Brock Badgers decimated the defending OUA champion, Ottawa Gigi's at Mumpety Hall and dismantled them. This Brock Badgers team is so dangerous. And Jared Palmer with a quick six points. A three right there. And a foul on Cole, Cole Cruz DeMont. And Jared Palmer, we've been missing him. Absolutely killing it right now from behind the, the arc. And quick substitutions. Emron Armstrong and Kennedy Charles, as well as Noah, as well as Aryan Sherma in. Jared Palma stays on. And I believe he's going to get a lot of minutes from the way he's playing right now. Absolute stellar performance. Andrew McKenna. Right there, Ellis. Ellis, great pass. And fouled. Marlon. Marlon Leston. And he'll be shooting to himself. Leston. <clears throat> Out from Quebec. 
great player. Super, super tall as well. I believe the tall, second tallest in box team. He misses the second free throw. Aryan Sharma collects the rebound. Emron Armstrong bringing up the ball. Emron Armstrong, great defense right here from Brock Badgers. Jarek Palma, no screen. Palma spinning, tough mid-range. Yeah, count it! What a drop! What a shot right there, Jarek Palma. He has eight in the game. Great defense right here, Noah Chitty. Butch Doso, Javon Brown. He has seven points. Chuente, surprisingly, still not in to close the first, but he has eight. Very efficient game as well for, or he has nine. My apologies, nine and two. Javon Brown to Butch Doso. Doso, and no foul right there. Oh, I am mistaken, a foul. And or West out of bounds on Western, so Butch Doso will be inbounding with four seconds on the shot clock. Let's see what they got. Andrew McKenna posting and a charge, a charge. Great defense right there. Imran Armstrong setting the feet, established. Structure right there in Mount Armstrong. In 31 seconds, eight second shot clock and game clock difference. Let's see what Western has got. Brock will most likely be shooting the final shot for the first quarter. And Mount Armstrong to Ochiti. Aryan Sharma. Sharma with zero, shy game. No, it should he. Driving, and Kennedy Charles almost regained a, or almost gained a second chance opportunity. Butch Doso with five seconds. Two, two, one, mid-range, pull up, does not drop. And that is the first quarter. Brock up five points. It's 24 to 19. What a great game we have so far. And, and we'll be back. from Source for Sports. With me is my line mate, Bitsy. Yeah, buddy, I need a twig that's gonna help me rip ski some Genos tonight. Bitsy shoots from everywhere, which sets him up perfectly for the CCM Jet Speed Series. I'm an absolute sniper, buddy. Top shelf only, right where mom keeps the cookies. Set with your preferred curve and flex, you're good to go. You're a beauty, buddy. Absolute weapon, pal. You're a beauty too, Fitzy. You're a beauty too. Let's go, two flat to the Woo! Here we go. Here we go Is that wide open? All right. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Alumni Hall. There's not an empty seat in the building tonight. This place usually gets good attendance. 
but the atmosphere is something different because everyone in here knows that they are witnessing potential history, potential changing in the guard of the OUA. We'll see if the Mustangs can fulfill that promise as we go into the second quarter. And a great start. What a dime right there. Noah Utsudi with a dunk to start off the second quarter. Noah Utsudi, fearless. Butch Doso, and I believe that was Ellis that shot the three. Tyson Dunn, Jerick Palma, mid-range, and a block right there. Truente. We see Tyson Dunn moving it up the floor here. Right to Achuti. Once again, that's Tyson Dunn's laser eye vision. Finding Achuti for the jam. Tyson Dunn spin, does not drop, but Palma regains, and an easy mid. Palma having himself a great game. He has 10, the leading scorer for Western. And this is exactly what Western needs, Jarek Palma. One of their best players and their primary players. Ellis driving, great defense, Aryan Sharma. And Western basketball. Great defense right there. And Tyson Dunn will be inbounding. Noah Chudi bringing it up. Tyson Dunn. Oh, and a poor turnover right there. But Doso to Ellis, or Hackett. Hackett again, driving in strong. Kennedy Charles, what a block! Noah Chudi going up. It's a two on one and blocked. Great defense, Chuente second block of the quarter. Chuente, great find. Hackett for three, does not drop. Aryan Sharma gets the rebound. Tyson Dunn bringing it up. And still Western basketball, a lot of physicality in that play in this quarter, must, I must say. We got Ariane Sharma here who exploded for 34, really took over and refound his stride after a month or so slump. He absolutely took over against a good Laurier Golden Hawks side, and they're gonna hope he can do that again today. And Mateo Zagar, there, Aryan Sharma, still quiet in this game. Great defense from Ellis. Noah Chudi stopping mid-range. That's his game. That's his shot. That's his peanut butter. That does not drop, unfortunately. Javon Brown back to Butch Doso. Butch Doso. Javon Brown, corner contested. Three. Great offensive rebound. And Western cannot regain collection. But it is Western basketball. They're getting lucky with these deflections. They can't come up, come down strong with it though. Tyson Dunn bringing up the ball to Ochidi. Ochidi also having himself a great game. Six points. Cigar to Milan John. Milan John also with two threes himself. Tyson Dunn, mid up. That's a three. Air ball. A very rare sighting from Tyson Dunn. He usually does not miss that wide. Tyson Dunn leading Western in assist. An absolute laser and great vision. And great defense, but Western cannot secure. And a foul on the ground. Javon Brown, he'll be shooting too. 
Javon Brown looks kind of hurt. No, he'll be fine. He's good. And Aryan Sharma, usually the scoring leader, only with three rebounds. 0 for 1 has not been shooting because Brock's intense and exhausting defense has not giving him, uh, given him an opportunity to score. And Javon Brown, a toilet. And he drops both free throws and a timeout. Hold, Western, and we will be back after this timeout. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, as only, only three points separate these two sides. It's really been anyone's game. If you asked any, any analysts, any bookies, what teams they expected to be in the final, it would be a good chance that they wouldn't have said either of these teams. That is how much they have improved. That is how much they have persevered through hardships this season. And Tyson Dunn inbounds it to Jarek Palma. Oh, and turnover right there. Poor pass, Jarek Palma. Stolen, Javon Brown for three, does not drop. He's been cold this quarter. He started off super blazing hot but cannot get it going in the second. Aryan Sharma trying to find something and he loses the ball. Poor offense right there. Javon Brown absolutely locking him up. Pochdoso. Javon Brown trying to find something, posting up. He knows the mit he sees the mismatch and taking advantage of the mismatch and a post right there, wow. Didn't know he had that in his bag. Javon Brown, super tough against Tyson Dunn. Jarek Palma for three, does not drop. And a rebound collected, Chuente. Chuente trying to find something. Hasn't scored since the first. Chuente, great dime right there. What a pass. Georges with a second bucket. He has four. Jarek Palma, Aryan Sharma, Tyson Dunn. Driving and cannot get it, but Mateo Cigar following the basket ball and scores with the putback layup. Puchtoso. Puchtoso. Javon Brown. Puchtoso. Western kind of lazy in defense right now. Pachdoso, 20 for three, and it's an air ball. Shot clock violation, and Western, let's see what they've got. Jared Palma and Tyson Dunn. Let's see what Tyson's got. Tyson Dunn with a, an also quiet game. Aryan Sharma for three. Does not drop. That's his bread and butter. Butch Doso. Great defense right there. Milan John staying still. 
And Mateo Zagar almost a turnover for Brock. Javon Brown on a smaller Jarek Palma driving and fouled. No and one foul on the floor. And that will be Brock. Second chance. Let's see what Brock's got. And Brock is 2-0. and oh. They have won twice. They were a lower seed at one point at 11-11. 11 and 11. Javon Brown does not drop. But Chuente there for the rebound. And that was his third deflection. Count it. Super poor interior defense right there from Western. They got to find a way to figure that out because it's been a repeating issue. Aryan Sharma, corner three, no. Sharma, 0 for 3 in this game. Super slow right now. Start for him. And a forced up three from Bajdoso. Bajdoso, also a great player, great shooter. Tyson Dunn. Sizing, what a spin! Wow! What a move right there, Tyson Dunn. Put him in a spin cycle. Got him lost. He's in an island. But Stoso. Chuente, Javon Brown, hot hand, not anymore. Aryan Sharma got the rebound. And a time out. Brock. Badgers forced into a timeout. Mustangs fighting their stride. Not a lot of ground between these two teams. Can the Mustangs keep up the pressure? Or can the Badgers do what they do best and annihilate everyone's expectations? We return, the Gladiators return to the arena. We'll see what the Brock Badgers are able to cook up and say we're forced into a timeout by the Mustangs, relentless pressure. And with the last three minutes of this half, of this quarter, Tyson Dunn <clears throat> bringing up the basketball. Let's see what he's got, Cole Cruz DeMont. Off ball screen right there. A lot of off ball screens. Milan John, surprisingly the one setting him up. Jerk Palma, Milan John for three. No good. And a turnover, a out of bounds for Brock. I believe that was Ellis that stepped out. And Tyson Dunn will be inbounding. It's funny to see a point guard inbounding the ball. Doesn't happen okay, er, as much as we think. Mateo Zagar, good post hook right there, but couldn't get it to drop. Chuente. Double team right there. Jarek Palma and Cole Cruz DeMont. Javon Brown. Oh, and... A tip in right there, Chuente. Tyson Dunn, bring it up, down seven. What exhausting defense, and what a cut right there. And a poor, silly turnover right there. Javon Brown, 
And a charge, Milan John. And that was on Javon Brown. Too much power. Milan John. Tyson Dunn. Milan John. Dumont. Mateo Sakar. Super slow offense right now. Tyson Dunn, three. Does not drop, but he gets the offensive rebound. Milan John. Screen right there, Mateo Zagar. Cole Cruz DeMont. Step back, three. Does not drop. And a couple of rough possessions, offensive possessions for Western. Javon Brown sizing Tyson Dunn. Tyson Dunn almost stole that basketball. Great defense right there. Wide open, mid or corner, Chuente. Chuente posting up now. And a big size differential. Chuente took that as an advantage. And now it is a nine point game. Western. Well, it was and a, timeout a great play as well for Western. By head coach Willie Manigat of the Brock Badgers because the Badgers remain unperturbed by the crowd and by the occasion as we head into this timeout. back here fans ecstatic children potentially seeing their future alma mater attain glory but there's a huge obstacle in the way in the resurgent Brock Badgers Tyson Dunn Inbounding. And a turnover. And a blown layup right there. George's. And Milan John. And I believe that was Butch Doso shaking it up. And it is Western basketball. It should have been an easy layup right there for Brock. But George just could not get it to drop. Jarek Palma. Find something. Tyson Dunn. Aryan Sharma. Wide open for three. There we go. And that is Aryan Sharma's game. His first field goal of this game and a long awaited one, I must say. Chuente. Bochdoso for three. Count it, right back at you, he says. And it, and that is Butch Doso's first points. Aryan Sharma almost, ah, oh, he loses the ball, Butch Doso. It's the first half of this game. Brock up nine. Nine point game here. Mustangs have work to do 
but we've seen them come back before. We'll see what both coaches can cook up in 15 minutes at halftime. Doug from Source for Sports. With me is my line mate, Fitzy. Yeah, buddy, I need a twig that's gonna help me rip these some genos tonight. Fitzy shoots from everywhere, which sets him up perfectly for the CCM Jet Speed Series. I'm an absolute sniper, buddy. Top shelf only, right where mom keeps the cookies. Set with your preferred curve and flex, you're good to go. You're a beauty, buddy. Absolute weapon, pal. You're a beauty too, Fitzy. You're a beauty too. Let's go, two shots to the fire! Woo! Here we go! Is that wide open? All right.
Hey, I'm Doug from Sorcerer Sports. With me is my line mate, Fitzy. Yeah, buddy, I need a twig that's gonna help me rip ski some genos tonight. Fitzy shoots from everywhere, which sets him up perfectly for the CCM Jet Speed Series. I'm an absolute sniper, buddy. Top shelf only, right where mom keeps the cookies. Set with your preferred curve and flex, you're good to go. You're a beauty, buddy. Absolute weapon, pal. You're a beauty too, Fitzy. You're a beauty too. Let's go too fast to require! Woo! Here we go! Oh. Here we go Is that wide open? All right. I'm Doug from Sorcerer Sports. With me is my line mate, Fitzy. Yeah, buddy, I need a twig that's gonna help me rip ski some genos tonight. Fitzy shoots from everywhere, which sets him up perfectly for the CCM Jet Speed Series. I'm an absolute sniper, buddy. Top shelf only, right where mom keeps the cookies. Set with your preferred curve and flex, you're good to go. You're a beauty, buddy. Absolute weapon, pal. You're a beauty too, Fitzy. You're a beauty too. Let's go too fast to require! Here we go! Oh. There. Is that wide open? All right. Doug from Sorcerer Sports. With me is my line mate, Fitzy. Yeah, buddy, I need a twig that's gonna help me rip ski some genos tonight. Fitzy shoots from everywhere, which sets him up perfectly for the CCM Jet Speed Series. I'm an absolute sniper, buddy. Top shelf only, right where mom keeps the cookies. Set with your preferred curve and flex, you're good to go. You're a beauty, buddy. Absolute weapon, pal. You're a beauty too, Fitzy. You're a beauty too. Let's go, too fast to require! Here we go! Here we go there. Is that wide open? All right.
from Sorcerer Sports. With me is my line mate, Bitsy. Yeah, buddy, I need a twig. It's gonna help me rip these some genos tonight. Bitsy shoots from everywhere, which sets him up perfectly for the CCM Jet Speed Series. I'm an absolute sniper, buddy. Top shelf only, right when mom keeps the cookies. Set with your preferred curve and flex, you're good to go. You're a beauty, buddy. Absolute weapon, pal. You're a beauty too, Fitzy. You're a beauty too. Let's go, two shots, they're fired! Here we go! Here we go, there. Is that wide open? Alright. I'm Doug from Sorcerer Sports. With me is my line mate, Bitsy. Yeah, buddy, I need a twig that's gonna help me rip these some genos tonight. Bitsy shoots from everywhere, which sets him up perfectly for the CCM Jet Speed Series. I'm an absolute sniper, buddy. Top shelf only, right where mom keeps the cookies. Set with your preferred curve and flex, you're good to go. You're a beauty, buddy. Absolute weapon, pal. You're a beauty too, Fitzy. You're a beauty too. Let's go, two pass, three pass! Here we go! Is that wide open? All right. Back, right? Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, Welcome back for the second half, the starting of the third quarter. Western down nine against the Brock Badgers. And Chuente and Javon Brown absolutely killing it. Chuente with 15, Brown with 11. We move into the second half, Mustangs nine point deficit, but that can very easily change either in their favor or against as the Badgers will start with the ball here that's Brown he's called for an offensive foul Mustangs will take it back good start here Tyson Dunn to inbound here's our shooting On Cole Cruz Dumont. 
George Horn checking into the game. Achuti stopped in his tracks by George Gandu. So much riding on this for both teams. The Brock Badgers, before 1992, had never won the OUA title. Then in 2022, they shocked everybody by winning it from the seventh seed. Now, from the 10th seed, they take out both finalists of last year's Wilson Cup. And now look on the verge to reclaim their crown. Called offensive foul on the Badgers. On the other hand, the Mustangs, this is the culmination of a long wait, have not lifted the Wilson since 2002, two decades. As Bujoso handles the ball here, lays it off, that's Brown, good. Smooth like butter. Here's Milan John. His pass intercepted. Kavon. Brown. Goes out of bounds. It'll be a Mustangs ball. And a slow start for both teams. Western playing poorly as well as Brock, but Brock actually had the upper hand with a three-pointer right there. And a timeout must, must needed for Western. And we'll be back after the timeout. We are back from the timeout. Two minutes gone in the third quarter. Here's Sharma. Smooth two. Fading away. Brown has it stripped. It's going to be Alchuti going back up the other way. Sharma from three. No good that time. Here's Bujoso. To Kavan. Kavan with a two. Badgers have an answer for every Mustang's onslaught. This is the caliber of a champion, ladies and gentlemen. This is, these are the 2022 champions looking to run it back. The Mustangs will need change and they will need it fast as Achuti looking to be the catalyst of that change. Not that time. The rebound goes Brock's way. That was Kavan. Bujoso gets his own rebound. Here's Bujoso again. 
such a familiar sight. In the near 30 point decimation of the Ottawa GGs, he got 21. And there he is again. Speak of the devil, or angel if you're a Brock fan. And it's gonna force Brad Campbell to take a timeout. This is getting out of hand quickly for these Mustangs. They do not want to soil this occasion by being blown out. Although, it's no shame to lose to this Brock Badgers team considering the teams they've beaten. The Mustangs will want to go and do so much more. And we are back from the timeout. Another timeout from Western. They're down 16. And it's not looking the greatest right now. Brock with the momentum. They've scored all eight points in this quarter. Oh, my, my mistake actually. Nine points and Western has scored two. We return, Jarek Palma lays it off to Tyson Dunn. He's guarded by his opposing number 11, Bujosa. Pama from deep. He can't seem to get going. Low output last game in the comfortable 20 point victory over Laurier to get here. Bujoso fade away. That's caught by Chuente, but he cannot convert the rebound. He is out muscled. Trying to go behind his back, Tyson Dunn. Not successful here. Oh. A few easy points being squandered by Brock. They're going to hope they don't regret this going forward. Palma believes he's fouled. Seems to only be an out of bounds call. Checking into that game, he had the ball earlier, just could not convert. It was Devante Hackett, freshman out of Community Recreation Brampton. Oh, wow. Great two by the Mustangs here. Milan John, trying to make his imprint on the game. He's had such a good breakout season as the British Columbia man. Here's Shuente. Scored 14 over the GGs. And what was a match with a lot of score spread for the squad. Rebounded by Tyson Dunn, no good there. Here's Sharma, guarded by Shuente. They give him some space. Lucky reprieve, that's usually Sharma's bag. There's Kavon. That was Ngandu. Quebec City man, also a freshman. Some young pieces here for these Brock Badgers. Imagine being a freshman and winning the Wilson Cup in your first season. Doesn't get much better than that for a debut collegiate season. Shuente will sub out. He's going to make way for number 10, Andrew McKenna, man out of Kingston, Ontario. But Hackett is going to take this free throw. Being serenaded with booze by the crowd, he is unperturbed. There's a solid corner of Brock fans in the arena today. 
clearly both schools understanding the gravity of the occasion and the potential to make history. Both for two very different reasons. One as a giant killing phenomenon, another as redemption. Here's John to Palma to Dunn. Dunn goes to ground, but it's recovered by Palma. He is blocked by Hackett. Hackett says, no, you don't. So you hear Mustang's band in the building doing an incredible job is the live band. They even have a guitarist. It's so cool. Here's Kennedy Charles. John. Oh, and wow. one for Milan John. This guy, his ceiling is in space. What a player. And let's take a look at that. Milan John decided to ISO, step back, free throw, jumper. He's all over him. What a shot right there. Ellis, mistake, fouling, and that's an and one opportunity. And Milan John, a great free throw shooter. Hopefully he converts. If there is to be a comeback for the Mustangs, Milan John is to be instrumental. Only second year, but plays wise beyond his years. Something I've said before, but it cannot be emphasized enough just how good this kid is. There's Brown. Dispossessed. Milan John guarded by Hackett. It's done. Brown in his face, doesn't matter. With the contest, who cares? Incredible. The crowd ecstatic. They can feel something coming on here. It's 10 points, but that can erode very quickly when the Mustangs are in this kind of form. Brown, he shimmied Zagar but opted not to shoot. The Badgers miss. Here's Dunn. He beats Brown, but Hackett swats that away, but Zagar actually got that back. Yeah. And Dunn got his back. Dunn gets it done. And Alumni Hall. The roof is about to come off of this place. It's incredible. But please, I hope the roof stays on. It's really cold outside. But what an incredible rally by the Mustangs. Eight point game as we head into a timeout. And what a run Western had. Tyson Dunn and Milan John, the lead of that. And it is now an eight point game. At first it was a 16 point game in the third. As Brock inbounds. Everyone in this building, including our amazing mascot who has some of the best moves I've seen in the world. Going crazy, the energy is unbelievable here in this building. Here's Hackett from three. He actually gets it back. He 
communication breakdown for the Badgers. Palma will go back up the other way. And he's fouled. It's going to be a Mustangs inbound. Mustangs starting to crawl back into this game. As done. Sharp pass to Zagar with the contact. Incredible move by the Oakville man. Bujoso guarded by Achuti. They'll go back to Shuente. They're on friendly bounces, oh, but wow. not for Kavon. Badgers finally getting something going after just being hammered by the Mustangs for a little bit. But there's Dunn. Before I could even finish the sentence. Tyson Dunn playing out of his mind. He's been great all season. Ujoso. Ngandu. And Ngandu is fouled. Many in here in the crowd do not approve of that decision. High levels of disagreement. The referees saw differently from the fans of the Purple Pegasus, Western Mustangs. As Ngandu will shoot for two. He actually got 11 and the dismantling of the GGs. He's good on the first. Is it Gundu? No good on the second. Mustangs fans will revel in that one. Here's our shooty. No good. Ujoso. Here's Shuente. No good on the other side, and it's going to be Jarek Palma. Tyson Dunn. Zagar. Achuti. Shaking, baking, scoring. That's no Achuti. One of the shining gems of this team. And boy, if the Mustangs win, will he be showered with praise. Not just for this game, but for this whole campaign in which he's really played his heart out. Here's Bujoso. Schwente. Dispossessed off his foot. Whose will it be? Seems like... Going to be a Badgers inbound. So the Mustangs bench not quite satisfied with that. Checking into the game. Number 12, Xavier Ferran. Now, he's done. Kavon Ellis, converting. You're on guarding Dunn. It's going to be a hard task. There's Kennedy Charles, nobody on him! The contest was too late. And a large frame of Charles puts the ball in the net. This place is on fire. What a closeout right there towards the end by Western. Tyson Dunn doing it all, playing most of the minutes. 
in this quarter as well. And that is exactly what Western needs. They need the primary point guard, the playmaker, to get all mans active on the court and the floor for Western. What a quarter, and we will be back for the fourth. For the last and final quarter of this game, let's see what the Mustangs and the Badgers have. Badgers are up 5, 57 to 52. Exciting game so far. We return for the fourth. Mustang still down, but definitely not out. It's called travel on the Mustangs. No, foul, it seems. Yes, foul, actually. It'll be a Mustangs inbound. It'll be no uh, shoot. Kennedy Charles, briefly dispossessed, but it'll be Mustangs to inbound the ball nonetheless. Done inbounds. No good by Zagar. Devontae Brown. Chuente. Brown guarded by Zagar. Opts to go in himself. Doesn't materialize. Ujoso assessing his option took too long. Shot clock expired. And we have been seeing that Brock Badgers have been crashing the offensive rebound and have been getting a lot of second chance opportunities. And Western gotta, has to find a way to stop that. Other than that, Western has been stellar in this game. And I have to give my props to Brock. They are winning. Dunn is fouled. A chance to inch ever closer. Energy reaching a fever pitch here. Tyson done again. Three point game. One possession can make the difference. We'll see if Brock can 
use their usual stick to itiveness. Yes. There's Pujoso. Top scorer in the game against Ottawa. Charles! Good. Kennedy Charles only checked in relatively recently. Not too many minutes, but he's made such good use of them. Now here's Bujoso. Joso has the ball stolen. Pujoso is actually second in three-point percentage in the regular season. I haven't seen too much three-point action from him. There's Palma! No good. A rebound is captured by Chuente. Yeah, Brock inbound. Here's a guard attaining his first personal. When the attendance is high, Alumni Hall tends to be one of the most difficult places to play in OUA sports. Considering the lounge right on the other side, facing the camera, so close to the court, so intimate. Always difficult for an away team in either basketball or volleyball to make headway at this stadium. McKenna is fouled. Crowd not satisfied. Not pleased with that. George Horn will check in. Kennedy Charles checks out. Andrew McKenna. Kingston man. Speaking of Kingston, the Gales and the Varsity Blues battling on the other side of this bracket. Winner of this could be facing the Gales. Is that shooty to inbound? Dunn picks it up. Four point game. Water! Now only two points of celebration. Mustangs desperately need a stop. He's Bujoso. Stolen. The Mustangs take advantage of this. Achuti opts not to shoot. He opts to drive in and float it up. George Horn almost secured the rebound, but Achuti did. Milan John, so close. Great placement and rebound by George Horn. A foul on the court. Charged on the Badgers. So it's going to be a Mustangs inbound. Here's Sharma. Inside, and Gandu wanted nothing to do with that layup in the best way possible from his perspective. Sharma inbounds. Here's George Horn to Dunn. Dunn, money. One point matchup. Here's Firon. Yeah. 
Chuente shakes Zagar. Can he get this? Yes. Badgers not once to falter in the face of pressure. Clearly, we've seen that all season long. Net zero record of 11 and 11. Dunn is fouled. Both him and a Badgers defender took a little bit of a tumble. Can't see who it is from here. No, it's Brown. He's on his feet, thankfully. And what a masterpiece of a showcase from Tyson Dunn. He has 16, six and six. Eight points already in this quarter. A true clutch performer. Shooting six of 13. Very efficient as well. Tyson Dunn is good. Third year kinesiology student at a new market. Would love to go into his senior year as at the very least an OEA championship finalist. As Shuente shakes Dunn, he goes all the way in. Kavon Ellis, guarded by Sharma. Ellis cannot be stopped. Here's Dunn. Just manages to get it to Cigar. Silky smooth pass. And a perfect bounce. One point game. Mustangs refusing to be steamrolled. Here's Shuente. A shooting on him. It's going to be foul on the Mustangs, so it's going to be a Brock Badgers free throw. The man out of St. Catharines would love to take a title back to the Niagara region. Once again, facing even steeper odds than they did when they won it in 2022. This team truly the master of destroying our expectations, the master of the comeback. Never let their regular season record fool you. As Chouette, after being serenaded by Booz, could not convert the free throw. Third year out of Canada, Ontario. Showered in jeers, converts. Tyson Dunn, two point game. Mustang will take those odds. Dunn took a tumble, he's back up. Sharma from the Marianas Trench. Not this time. That would have turned this game on its head. This place was ready to explode. Bujoso tries to thread the needle, doesn't work. Foul. It'll be an, it, yes, it'll be an inbound. Mustang's not yet in free throw territory. Dunn contemplates his options for a little bit too long. He's whistled. He's going to remain a two-point game. 
going into the last four minutes. Jordan Schuente to Bedroso. Jose Bedroso, Bedroso, such a key piece of this Brock team. Schuente sacrificing life and limb. Definition of insanity is trying the same thing over and over, but this kind of insanity is good in this situation. They got them a foul and free throw. Zagar picks up the foul. Fuente. Quite, hasn't quite mastered being able to tune out these boos. Probably one of the most electric atmospheres in the entirety of the OUA season. Not afraid to say that. Fuente shoots. And he's good on the second. Same as his last run at the free throw line. Misses the first, gets the second. It's not shooting. Oh, throws in by himself. You are all you need, Noah Achuti. Back to one point. Take, took the whole world on. Lujoso trying to lead the response here. Brock, do not want to lose grip of this game. And Bujoso says, how's that? Silencing the alumni faithful. But for how long? Done to George Horn, who unfortunately loses it in the paint. Which also will slow it down. There's a miss. Ujoso seems to have suffered a knock. Mustangs will continue. Sharma for two. Money. Masari Sharma. Mustangs with a nice 69, only behind by one. They refuse to let the Badgers run away with this matchup as we head into the timeout.
And we are back from the timeout. Western Mustangs absolutely going off. Aryan Sharma with a deadly three. Let's not forget about Butch Doso though with another three. Putting Brock up one. Let's see what the last two minutes have for us. Well, we wish Isaiah Bujoso the best of recovery. We hope it's not nothing more than a strain as that goes in. Great job by the Badgers. The Mustangs will undoubtedly be seeing this as an opportunity as the talisman of the Badgers is out. And the talisman of the Mustangs squares it up. What can I say? It's Ariad Sharma. I've used all the words there are to use about this guy. I'm out of words. He's just good at basketball. Kevon Ellis. Here's for Ron. Stolen by Zagar. Destiny is all. Western Mustangs. We are on the verge of history. Great job by Big Bad George Horn to keep it in. Here's Sharma! No, sir. Badgers will be happy that that didn't go in. A sigh of relief for this extremely strong Brock Badgers team. Here's Ferran to Javante Brown. He's going to slow it down. It's crunch time for both these teams. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. Incredible. Incredible. Jordan Schuente. Dunn trying to lead a response. No good. 16 seconds. Foul. Mustangs now getting into their fouls. Something they have to do now. Javante Brown will shoot for two. Jordan Schuente with ice in his veins. And what a shot there from Chuente with 26 points. Showing his leadership. And a miss! Two misses. Mustangs will be happy with that. They only have six seconds. Here's that shooting! No good. The Badgers! That is probably it. The Badgers will hang on to it. No foul is that game. No, that is not yet game. Badgers fans readying their celebrations. Still a few seconds. A few seconds left on the clock here. Badgers fans ecstatic. This is the Cinderella run of all Cinderella runs. As Javante Brown will put the dagger on this game. Ladies and gentlemen, Javante Brown can ice this and send the Badgers. He misses. Last chance salute for the Mustangs if he misses a game. He just needs one to send the Badgers back to the Wilson Cup. The noise is deafening. He misses, it's gonna have to be a Hail Mary, and it doesn't happen. Brock Badgers, the most unlikely of outcomes from 10th place in the overall table at 11 and 11. They're going to go to the finals to play the best of the best. What an incredible Cinderella run by this Brock Badgers side. 
ladies and gentlemen, I am a Western alumni, but even I cannot take away this moment from the Badgers, who have played so well all season. The Mustangs will be devastated. It was such a golden opportunity, and it's been an incredible season for the Mustangs. Nothing to be ashamed of. They'll be looking ahead to the next season, and they should with their heads held high because they did a great job. But the night belongs to the men from St. Catharines as they will play either Queens or U of T in the final. Congratulations, St. Catharines, and congratulations, Brock Badgers, on your incredible team and your incredible victory. I've been Leif DeBoer, and I've been joined by Anj Gupta. And what a game right there. Wow. Crazy ending. Wow, wow. Heartbreaking for Western Mustangs, but Brock Badgers, they did it. They're dumb. And they will be going to the OUA Finals for basketball. Exciting for Brock, for St. Catharines. And yeah, that's all for us. Uh, it's me, Anj, and I've been Liv. late. Thank you so much for welcoming us into your home all season. It's been an honor to commentate over these incredible OUA teams. Thank you so much to the Mustangs and the entirety of the OUA. Please tune in for the final on March 2nd as the Badgers play either the U of T or Queens. Good night.